you guys. So I'm looking very uh, au naturel today, if you will. But I'm just vlogging a little bit because I wanted to get you guys, you know, updated on my life a little bit and some things that are going on. I am a very, like, complainy person naturally, but I am trying to change that, so I really don't want this to come off as a video like, oh, feel bad for me or something like that. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys why I wouldn't be posting a video in a little bit, uh, just because I'm, I'm really overwhelmed. So... I got sick, you guys know I was really sick earlier this month, or last month in August, and then um, I got sick this past weekend, and I don't even know what it was. I had a super bad fever, and it was, I felt like I was on fire, it was bad. And then that was, I think, Saturday night, and then today, which is Tuesday, no, Monday, I don't know what day it is. Uh, I woke up with very bad muscle pain. Like, I couldn't even walk. I actually cried when I went to sit down on the toilet to go pee in the morning. Um, I actually cried because it hurt so bad. And it's been weird. Like, I, I don't know what it is because I don't have any other symptoms. I don't have throat issues, stomach issues, except a little nausea, but nothing like, oh, I'm gonna throw up right now kind of thing and I've had no appetite, so I've barely eaten anything since Friday. I'll get slight headaches here and there, but I think it's just from the pain, and it's been strange. Whenever I like move my muscles, they hurt. Um, it lessens throughout the day, and then in the morning it's bad. Um, and then ibuprofen does help, so I've been taking that. They're remodeling next door, by the way, so if there's crazy saws going on and whatever. I live in a duplex, so the walls connect, so um, my neighbors moved out with the kids, so no more kids screaming. Uh, but we got some reconstruction going on over there, so I haven't been able to nap. So I'm getting blood work done on Thursday. Um, I went to the doctor today. I kind of just got back about an hour ago, and um, my doctor doesn't know what's wrong with me, so <laughs> she thinks I'm fighting something viral, uh, so there's really not a lot she can do anyway, but uh, basically she said that I'm not taking care of myself. So I immediately went to Walmart and got some groceries of my own because I told her what I've been eating lately um, and been eating my mom's food and stuff like that and uh, she was not happy with that so I bought some fruit and some vegetables and frozen shrimp and things like that um, to make some healthy food so I do need your help to eat my way to health <laughs> um, I need your help to give me recipes and things like that um, that you like to do when you want to eat healthy and then the other thing is a really sensitive issue for me and I haven't told you guys about it yet for a while because I didn't know what was happening and I wanted to be finite about it. Um, you know, I wanted it to be definitive, a definitive answer and now I finally have a definitive answer so I thought I should tell you guys. Uh, I have to turn my car in. I have to give it back and it's really, really hard. It's hard for me to talk about. Don't want to get emotional. Basically, it has to do with income. I don't want to necessarily get into numbers with you guys and tell you how much exactly I make. Um, but they're not, they're saying I don't qualify for the car. I don't make enough, uh, which is true. Um, the reason why it's taken so long for them to figure that out is because I had to provide bank statements and tell them what is my income because I don't work a normal job. I have the Etsy thing and then I have the YouTube thing. So it's not a thing on there that says pay stub or like this is from work. So I had to break it down for them. I had to go in there and basically highlight everything that was actual income for me. And with that, I still didn't qualify. So that was a whole ordeal and it's been going on for about a month now. Um, and honestly, when I first found out that they might have to take it back, I was devastated. And I still am. I'm horribly devastated. Um, but I really can't change it. I can't do anything about it. Um, basically, I... The way the, the Folsom, like... Folsom Lake Kia, Folsom Lake Ford, they're all kind of connected, and my stepdad is friends with um, someone in Folsom Lake Ford, and they put me in a Kia. As you guys know, I got a Kia Soul, and uh, long story short, uh, he had to go through the Kia people, and they said no, so he's going to try and put me in a Ford, 
Um, so fingers crossed that works because their system or their process is a little bit different. So I won't have my Kia anymore. Um, I'll be trading that in on Thursday. Same day I get blood work. It's going to be a great day. And on top of all that, school starts tomorrow and I don't have a car really. I'll be able to go to school tomorrow, which is the first day I have an hour class. Um, and as you guys know, I'm commuting to Sac State, so it'll, I have to leave about two hours early because of traffic. So I'll be able to get there for the first day. No guarantees for the rest of the semester. I doubt I'll have a Ford or a car in general by Monday. Um, be, that's when my next class is. So luckily I have from Wednesday to Monday to find some information out. It's just been really, really overwhelming for me having to go through all this at once. I felt like I did that earlier in August when I was getting, when I was really sick, I also had to deal with the car issue at that same time and so it was it was a lot and now i'm doing the exact same thing the first week of september what is my life i don't <laughs> more than anything i'm just hoping that my health is okay i really don't know and you know still what's wrong um if it is just you know i'm not eating right i'm definitely gonna rectify that and start eating better especially now that i've, I've gotten sick so much it really can't hurt to eat better and my immune system's always been really bad not as bad as Blair, Blair, Bear. Not as bad as Blair Fowler's, um, but it's always been bad. I've always gotten sick at least once a year. Um, so if anything, you know, eating better and just taking care of myself, it's not gonna hurt anything. I'm sorry if I don't make videos uh, for a little while. I am gonna get the chokers out that I need to. Don't worry, that's still gonna go on. Um, it may take me a couple extra days than normal. Uh, so please bear with me on that. It's especially now that I don't have a car, I got to get a ride to the post office. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's the hardest part of it all of having to turn my car in, um, is to give up that freedom and ask for rides. Like it, it hurts my pride a little bit. Not that my friends and family are going to judge me or anything. Um, but it's hard on your pride when you've been so independent now since July, I've had this car. And now I gotta give it up and be like, so hey, you wanna take me to the grocery store later? And it's it's hard. And I know it's like first world problems, um, but it is, it is. I'm not saying that my problems are the biggest thing, you know, biggest issues in the world right now. I definitely understand that um, we all have our own problems and no one really thinks our problems are as big as we do. So I understand that, um, you know, I'm not looking for sympathy, like I said. I just wanted to tell you guys why I'd probably be a little absent. I haven't posted in four days on here. I have some things filmed, but they're incomplete and kind of Halloween related. So it's a little early even for me to post videos on that, but I have been filming Halloween things. Um, so the month of October will be really exciting for you guys, as long as my health, you know, picks back up. I'm sure I'll get better as days go on. I'm sure it is something just viral and nothing serious. At least I cross my fingers it's not, because I don't know what I would do. It's just been like, I'm already nervous about school starting and then having to deal with the car thing and then the illness, like, and just having that be up in the air and having to get blood work done. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to do that, so. So that's kind of all I wanted to touch base with you guys on, um, but I do want you to let me know, one, how you stay strong through everything, especially those of you who have been through a lot. Um, could really hear some encouraging advice uh, to push through and how to focus on things and school and relationships and things like that when you have all this shit going on in your life. Um, and also to help me get healthy, so your favorite kind of foods and how to prepare them. Coming from someone who is unhealthy, it's hard for me to just work in vegetables. I don't just eat raw vegetables. Like, it's hard for me to do that, so um, I know I kind of just have to. I just gotta get used to it. Uh, fruit is my jam. Like, I love it, but jam, fruit, get it. But I will stay strong for you guys and everything, and I will not obviously stop this. As soon as I feel better, I am making a video, I promise. In fact, today I was supposed to vlog and go back to school shopping and do a haul, and it was gonna be fun. Uh, no. So the moment I feel better, I will film, because I only have school two days a week, re regardless how I figure out rides and the car issue and things like that. Um, I will film as soon as possible. Let me know what you want me to film next, preferably something kind of easy to film, just because I'm sure my 
I don't know, I'm gonna be tired, probably. So anyway, um, sorry about the lack of videos, and I will talk to you guys soon, I promise, okay? Bye.